Hi guys, I'm back. Today I'm going to read Leviticus 9 to 15, Proverbs 28, and Psalm Psalm 125. Let's get started. On the eighth day, Moses called Aaron and his sons and elders of Israel and said, Aaron, take it over yourself a bull will come for us and offer it. Anyway, I'm for a burnt offering. You take it over to the top of the mission and offer them before the Lord. And say to the people of Israel, take a male grave for a sin offering and a call for the lamb, both a year old without blemish, and a burnt offering, and an ox and a ram for peace offering, just like Christ before the Lord, and a grain offering and mixed with more. For today the Lord will appear to you. And they brought with more on, brought what Moses commanded in front of the me, and all the congregation junior and stood before the Lord. And Moses said, This is the thing that the Lord commanded you to do, that the glory of the Lord may appear to you. And Moses said to her, Draw near to your altar and offer your sin offering and your burnt offering, and make a tent for yourself and you for the people. And bring the offering of the people and make a tent for them. That is the Lord's command. So Aaron drew near to the altar and killed the calf of the sin offering, which for himself. And since Aaron presented the blood to him, and the Jew did with his finger and blood, and put on the horns of the altar, and poured out the blood at the face of the altar. And was fighting the kings and the Lord with the and the sin offering, he burned on the altar. That's the Lord's command, Moses. Since skin he burned out the fire and said the king, and he healed the burnt offering, and Aaron sent him with him the blood, and to him the blood. And he threw against the side of the altar, and they handed him the burnt offering to him. He spied peace in the hair, and he burned them on the altar. And he washed the children and the legs, and burned them out the burnt offering on the altar. And he presented the people's offering, and took the of the sin offering that was for the people, and killed an offer that has a sin offering like the best one. And he presented the burnt offering, and offered it according to the law. And he presented the grain offering, took a handful of it, and burned it on the altar, besides the burnt offering of the morning. And he killed the oxen, and sacrificed the peace offering for the people. Moses and Sam had a blood, and he threw it against the side of the altar. And the fat feet, it says, of the ox and the red, the red tail, and that which covered the chairs, and the kidneys, and the long red blood. He used the fat pieces on the breast, and he burned the fat piece of the altar. That the breast and the right thigh of Aaron made for a wave of him before the Lord, as Moses commanded. Then Aaron lifted up his hands toward the people, and blessed them. And he came to offer off from the sin of and the red offering, and the peace of it. And Moses and Aaron went into the town meeting. And when they came out, they blessed the people, and the Lord had a lot of pity to all the people. And the fire came out from before the Lord, and could see the burnt offering, and the peace of the Lord. All the people saw it, they shouted, and put on their faces. And the. Uh, and the. Now, and out of a neighborhood, the sons of and each took his sons and put fire in it, and laid it in stone. And off it, on the throne, rushed fire before the Lord, which he had no command. And the fire came out from before the Lord, and he shouted, and they died before the Lord. And Mary said to Adam, This is what the Lord said, I'm going to show you name. Near me, I'll be sanctified, and then before the people I will be glorified. Then how this feast and Moses is called Mishael, Mishael, and Elsa, and the sons of Israel, and Uncle Ad, and for six and coming, and carry your brothers away to the front of the sanctuary, and out of the camp. So they came in and carried them, and they cut out of the camp. And out of the camp, as Moses said, and Moses said to Aaron and to Elsa, and to the Muslims, Do you not let the hair of your head hang this, and do not take your clothes, lest you die, and wrath come upon all the congregation, and let your brother the whole house is up the way of the burning. The Lord's kingdom, and do not go outside the entrance of the town of Media, lest you die. And they know and did well, and the Lord is upon you, and they did not according to the word of mercy. And the Lord of God spoke to mercy, saying, No, you are one stronger, you and your sons with you, when you go into the town of Media, lest you die, and you shall be such a forever throughout your generations. You are distinguished between the holy and the common, between the unclean and the clean. You are to teach the people of Here's how the statues of the Lord spoke him to the Lord. And then he spoke to Allah and Allah and Allah. And so I have said, Take the grain offering that is left from the Lord. Who would offer his own year on the left side of the altar? Where is my son? To eat in the holy place because he's your due and your son's due. When the Lord's free offering is for a certain command, the brass that is waved and the right that is consumed, shall you in claim for it. You only have sons and you don't have to But they have given us due and your son's due. That's the price of peace offerings for the people of Israel. I think it's contrary to the breast of the way, they shall bring the feet off it. Now the fact he used to wait for a way for him before the law. And it shall be yours, and your sons with you as a dear for it, as the Lord's command. And uh, Moses diligently inquired about the good of the sin of it. And he held it as bent up. He was angry with Allah's heart, and it was so very sensitive about it. And saying, Why have you not eaten the sin of it in the place of sanctuary? Since there is the most holy that has been given to you, that you may bear the iniquity of the hungry. So he took a little from the law. He held it as blind, was. I could not brought into the inner part of the sanctuary. You certainly ought to be made in the sanctuary. I said to him, and I said to him, You know, that today they have offered a sin offering, they went off in the floor. Then he has such things as these are happening. You might need the sin offering today, but the Lord will approve. And Moses heard that he approved. And the Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron, saying to him, saying to him, speak to the people of Israel, saying, And these are the living things that give me among all the animals that are on the earth. And whatever pass the hermit is called for, and she's cut among the animals you may eat. Nevertheless, among those that cheat the cut or part the hoof, you shall not eat these the camel, because it cheats the cut but does not part the hoof, is unclean to you. And the rock badger, because it cheats the cut but does not part the hoof, is unclean to you. And the pig, because it parts the hoof and 
has only cross the heavens come for it, but does not cheat God. It is unclean to shall not eat any death flesh, but it does shall not touch the shall not touch the carcasses, they are unclean to the eat you may eat out of all the of all that are in the water, everything in the woods that is in the scales, where the seas are in the rivers, you know, you know, anything in the seas, you know, the world, the rivers that doesn't have fins in the scales, the swarming creatures in the water, the water is enough for living creatures that are in the water, it is detestable to you, shall not guard those detestable, and you shall not eat any of their flesh, you shall not detest their creatures, carcasses, everything in the water that doesn't have fins in the scales, it is detestable to you, you know, and these you shall detest among the birds, they shall not be eaten, they are detestable, the eagle, the rogue, the eater, the vulture, the black vulture, the kite, the ark of many kinds, every raven, of any kind. The ostrich and the night hold the sea hold the hawk of any kind. The little owl, the cormora, and a short ear down, and the bow and the tornado. The carrion vulture, the stork, the heron of any kind. Who poo and the bat. All winged insects that found all fours are deceptive to you. Among the winged insects that got no fours, you may eat those that have joined legs above their feet. With which top of the girl. With these you may eat the locust of any kind, the bold locust of any kind, the cuckoo of any kind, and the grasshopper of any kind. The more the winged insects with bad four feet are deceptive to you. And the mighty is sharper and common with it. When it touches their cock, it shall be unclean until evening. Whoever carries any part of their carcass shall watch his cross and be unclean until you. Every animal that passes the hoofer is not part of the fur or it doesn't chew the cross. is unclean to you. Now I judge them shall be unclean. And all that walk on their paws among the animals that you are not from also are unclean to you. Whoever touches their carcasses will be unclean until the evening. And any who carries their carcass shall watch his cross and be unclean until the evening. They are unclean to you. These are these are unclean to you among the swimming things that swim to you. The mole right, the mouse, the great lizard, any kind. The gecko, the monster lizard, the mole, the shade lizard. The mole right, the mouse, the great lizard, any kind. The gecko, the monster lizard, the lizard, the slime lizard, and the chameleon. These are unclean to you among all that's warm. Whenever they touch them when they are dead, shall be unclean to the evening. And in anything on which any of them fall from the dead shall be unclean. Whether it is an article of little skin or so, any article that is used for any purpose, unless you put into one, it shall be unclean to the evening. And it shall be clean. And if any of them falls into earth and that vessel, no one that is in it shall be unclean, and you shall break it. Any food in it that could be eaten on which water comes shall be unclean. And no drink that could be drunk from every such vessel shall be unclean. Everything on which any part of their carcass is all shall be unclean. The carcass all shall be unclean. Whether the oven or stove, it shall be breaking beans. They are unclean and shall remain unclean for you. Nevertheless, the spring or system shall be unclean. Shall be unclean, but whoever touches the carcass and shall be unclean. Shall be unclean. And if any part of their Carcass holds upon any seed of grain that is seed grain that is to be sowed and it's clean. And if one is put on the seed and any part of the carcass falls in, it is unclean to you. If any animal which you may eat dies, whoever touches his carcass shall be unclean until the evening. Whoever eats his carcass shall wash his clothes and be unclean until the evening. Whoever carries the carcass shall wash his clothes and be unclean until the evening. Whoever swallows the that swallows the ground is detestable. Shall not be eaten. Whatever goes in its belly and whatever goes in all fours or whatever has many feet. Then it's only thing that swims in the ground you shall not eat. Whether it's detestable, you shall not make yourself detestable with any swimming thing that swims. And you shall not to fill yourselves with them. Then we come unclean to you. For I am the Lord your God. And to get yourselves there for one year, for I am holy. You shall not to fill yourselves with any swimming thing. Then call them God. For I am the Lord who brought you up out of the land of Egypt to be your God. You shall therefore be holy, for I am holy. This is the law of our beast and bone, every living creature that moves through the woods and every creature that swims in the ground, to make a distinction between the unclean and the clean, between the living creature that may be eaten and the living creature that may not be eaten. When the Lord spake to Moses, he said to the people of Israel, If a woman has seen the birds, the male child, then she shall be unclean eight, seven days. At the time of her menstruation, she shall be unclean. When the estate of flesh is forced, then shall be sacrificed. And she shall continue and for thirty three days in the blood of her purifying. She shall not touch anything for you, nor come into the sanctuary until the days of her purifying are completed. And she bears a human child, and she shall be unclean in two weeks as in the menstruation. And she shall continue in the blood of her purifying for sixty six days. And the days of her purifying are completed. And the first son of her brother, she shall bring to the priest of the church of the temple. And will have a year off her brother, and will present her child for a sin offering. And she shall offer it before the Lord make a turn for it. And she shall be clean from the flood of her blood. This is the law for her and best child and the male of you. And if she cannot afford the lamb, then she shall take two dollars. Two dollars and two pigeons. Offer a right offering, and that is for a sin offering. And if she shall make a turn for it. And she shall be clean. And the Lord spoke to Mary and Aaron, saying, When a person is on the skin of his body, swelling on the rocks from the spot, he turns into crazy leprosy to you on the skin of his body. He shall be brought to Aaron, and the priest, what one of his sons, and the priest, and the priest shall examine the diseased area, and the skin of the body, and, and if the head of the diseased area has turned white, and the disease appears to be deep in the skin of his body, it is the case of leprosy disease. But then the priest examines him, and he shall pronounce it unclean. And the scars white in the skin of his body, 
the skin is quality. And it appears to know deeper than the skin. And if the hand it has not turned on. A facial shadow of the disease has some seven days. And a patient is at on the seventh day. And if it is high, the disease is checking the disease is not spreading the skin. And the pre shall shadow that for another seven days. And the pre shall examine him again on the seventh day. And if it's a disease serious right and the disease is not spreading the skin. And the pre shall pass and clean. There's nothing in eruption. Shall wash his clothes and be clean. And if he is eruption spreads in the skin. After he showed himself to his brain, to the priest was cleaning, he shall appear again before the priest, and the priest shall look, and if he erupts in the spread of the skin, and the patient pronounced unclean is leprous disease, and a man afflicted with leprous disease shall be brought to the priest, and the priest shall look, and if there is a white skull in the skin, and turn the hair off, and there is all flesh and a swelling, and if it is a chronic leprous, chronic leprous disease in the skin of his body, and the priest shall pronounce unclean, he shall not shut him out, for he is unclean. If the leprous disease breaks out in the skin, so that the leprous disease comes with the skin of the disease from a person from head to foot. So far as proof can see, then the priest shall look. If the leprous disease comes with his body, he shall pronounce him clean of the disease. If all it is sore to and he is clean, who in raw flesh if he is clean, shall be unclean, and the priest shall be in the raw flesh. Raw flesh and pronounce unclean. Raw flesh is unclean, and if it has leprous disease, but if the raw flesh recovers and turns white again, he shall come to the priest with the priest and send him. And if the disease is certainly in the priest, shall pronounce the disease perfectly. He is clean. And if there is in the skin of one's body a ball and it heals, then the flesh of the ball that comes a white swell and a bloodish white swell, and it shall be shown to the priest. And the priest shall look, and if it appears deeper than the skin, the same hair is gentle. And the priest shall pronounce unclean. In this case, the leprous disease that is broken out in the ball. And uh, if the priest examines it, and there is no white hair in it, and it is not deeper than the skin, and it is right in it, and the priest shall shut up for some days, and if it spreads in the skin, and the priest shall pronounce unclean, it is a disease, and if the spot remains on one piece and doesn't spread, it does not spread, it is the scar of the boil, and the priest shall pronounce it clean, or when the body has a bone of the skin, and the wolf washes the bone, becomes a spot of reddish or white skin, reddish, reddish white. Reddish white or white, it appears shows him that the hand is white, and it appears deeper than the skin. It is leprous disease. It is broken around the blood, and the priest shall pronounce it unclean. In the case of leprous disease, the priest examines it, and there is no wolf. There is no white hair in it, and the spine is no deeper than the skin. And it has faded. The priest shall shut him up some days, and the priest shall come and him in the same day. If it is spreading in the skin, and the priest shall pronounce it unclean, it is a case of leprous disease. And if this part remains in one place, and doesn't spread in the skin, and say it is swelling from the back, and the priest shall not pronounce it, shall pronounce it, and this is called the back. And a man or woman has disease on the hair of a beard, and the priest shall examine the disease. And if it appears deeper than the skin, the hair in it is young, and thin, and the priest shall pronounce it, and it is itch, a leprous disease on the head of the beard. And if the priest examines the itching disease, and it appears no deeper than the skin, and there is no black hair in it. And the priest shall show the person with the itching disease for seven days, and the seventh day the priest shall examine the disease, shall examine the disease, and the itch is not set. And there is in it no yellow hair, and the itch appears to be no deeper than the skin. And he shall see it with all of the itch, he shall not shave. And the priest shall shout the priest, and the priest shall shout the person with the itching disease for the seventh day. And on the seventh day, the priest shall examine the itch, and if the itch is not swollen in the skin, and the appears to be no deeper than the skin, and then the priest shall pronounce the clean. He shall wash his clothes and be clean. And if the itch spreads in the skin after his cleansing, then the priest shall examine him, the itch is spread in the skin. The priest need not seek for the yellow hair. He is unclean. He only desires that the itch is unchanged and black is clean. The itch is healed in his skin. And the priest shall pronounce the clean. And the man or woman has spots on the skin of his body. White spots. The priest shall look. His spots, in his, uh, spots on the skin of his body are brown. His leuco dermat that is broken out of the skin. He is clean. And if a man's hair falls out from his head, he is bald. He is clean. If a man's hair falls out from his forehead, he is bald. So the forehead, he is clean. If it's on the bald head, and the bald head, not the bald forehead, the reddish white disease day is a leprous disease breaking out of the bald head or his bald forehead. And if you should examine him, if the disease swelling is reddish white on his bald head, or on his bald forehead, it likely appears a leprous disease. And the skin of the body, he is a leprous man, he is unclean. He is supposed to know it's unclean, his disease is not shed. And leprous disease, the disease shall wear torn clothes. And let the hair of his hand hang loose. He shall cover his upper lip and cry, unclean, unclean. He shall not be unclean as long as he has the disease. He is unclean, he shall wear the light. And his daughter shall be outside the camp. And in the edge of case of leprous disease, he is wearing a garment. Where is the wool torn with it? A garment and wool, but wool for little or wool. Where is skin or anything but his skin? Where is the disease green? He shall wear this in the garment. And where is the skin or in the wool for the wool for any kind of wool for his skin? In his case of leprous disease, he shall be shown. Shown to the priest, and the priest shall examine the disease and shadow without which has the disease. 
the seven days. He showed seven diseases on the Saturday. day. He had diseases spread in the garden. He's a wolf of the wolf. And the wolf of the wolf around the skin. Let there be whatever be the yeast of the skin. The disease of the person my first disease. And he was unclean. And he shall bear the gun. Or the wolf of the wolf or the bat wolf. Nor any other article of his skin that's disease. The person who persists in my first disease shall be burned in the fire. And the priest examined and he said, Jesus did not spare the gun. And the wolf of the wolf or any other article of his skin. And the priest shall command that they will set him which is disease. He shall shut off for another seven days. And the priest shall examine the disease thing. After he has been lost, yet the appearance of the diseased area has not changed. Here the diseased man is not swear. His uncle he shall burn it and shall burn it in the fire with the wires on the back of the fire. Yet the priest shakes out and the diseased area is clean after he has been lost. The priest shall tear it out and come once again with the wolf of the wolf. And when it appears in the grain and the wolf of the wolf, 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 the the part of the wolf of the wolf for any part of the wolf 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 of the the wolf of 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 the the wolf of the the wolf of 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 the the wolf of the 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 Take from the moose weak birds to my queen bird, and set it in the sky on his. And the priest shall command them to kill one of the birds in the earth and wear vessels of fresh water. Every fresh water. And he shall put it sprinkle seven times on him, and I shall sprinkle seven times on him, and it's to be cleansed of the leprous disease. And he, then he, then he, and he who is to be cleansed shall wash the clay, and shall let the living bird go into the open field. And he who is to be cleansed. And he used to be clean, shall wash the clothes and see every woman say, and bathe himself in water, and he shall be clean. And after that, he may come into the camp, and he'll live outside his tent seven days. But on the seventh day, he shall shave off all his hair from his head, his beard, and his eyebrows. And he shall shave off all his head, he shall wash his clothes and bathe his body of water, he shall be clean. And on the eighth day, he shall take two male lambs without blemish, and one ewe lamb a year old without blemish, and a grain of fruit, three tenths of an effort of fine flour mixed with them, and one little bit of oil, and the priest will be cleansed the bread. And the priest will be cleansed the bread. And the priest who cleanses, um, um, cleanses him shall set the man who is the man, and these things before my the and just not me. And the priest shall take hold of the male lambs, offer for the other thing, along with the log of one, and wait for a wife from the fold one. And he shall kill the lamb in the place where they kill the sin offering, the great offering, and in the place of the sanctuary, and the guilt offering with the guilt, like the sin offering, with the guilt offering, like the sin offering, belongs to the priest. It is most holy. And the priest shall take some of the blood of the guilt offering, and the thumb of your right hand, and along the red toe of his right hand. And the priest shall take some of the oil, some of the blood of oil, and pour it into the palm of his right hand, left hand, and dip his right before him, dip his right finger. And the oil that is in his left hand, which he pour some of the oil with his finger seven times before the Lord. And some of the oil that remains in his hand, the priest shall put on the. And the priest shall put on the t- low. Lay about the right ear of him who has to be cleansed, and on the thumb is right here, and on the big toe is right there, on the top of the bar of the guilt offering, and the rest of the oil that is in the priest, and he shall put it on the head of him who has to be cleansed, and the priest shall make a tent for him before the Lord, and the priest shall offer the sin offering to make a tent for him who has to be cleansed from his uncleanness, and after he shall kill the burnt offering, and the priest shall offer the burnt offering, and the great offering on the altar, thus the priest shall make a tent for him, a tent for him, and then he shall be cleansed. And his body came out of water and went. He shall take one meal and a full girl offering to be made. Then he could take a foot. And I took the effort and forced the last one and mixed it on for a great effort. And the local bar was a two turtles or two pigeons. Whichever he can afford, the one for the sin offering. One shall be a sin offering and the other a bad offering. And then on the eighth day he shall be one for his coming to the Lord. Christ, who shall the angels of the tent be for the Lord. And the priest shall take the land of the girl offering to the local bar. And the priest shall wait. And the priest shall. Who shall pour some of the oil into the palm of his right left hand? He shall sprinkle with his finger. He shall sprinkle with his finger. Mm. Sprinkle with his right finger some of the oil that is in his left hand, sometimes before the Lord. And the priest shall put some of the oil that is in his hand on the left of the right ear of him who is to be cleansed. On the thumb of his right hand, on the big toe of his right foot. And the husband of the blood of the girl from his foot. And the rest of the oil that is in the priest he shall put on the head of him who is to be destroyed to make a turn. Yeah. To be, who is to be cleansed to make atonement for him before the Lord. 
He shall offer up the tale of pigeon, and there shall be he can afford more for a single thing than the four beds. Along with the great offer, and the preacher will contain for the four more. Before the law for him who has been blessed, this is the law for him and whom is the case of leprosy. He cannot afford the offerings for his cleansing. And the last question was then say, No, and you come to the land of Cain, which I give you for a possession, and put a case of leprosy in a house of a new possession. And he urged that I shall come to the priest, and there seems to be some case of disease in my house. And the priest shall come in when that they empty the house, and the priest goes to examine the disease. And so all that is in the house, people declared unclean. And after the priest shall go into the cell of the house, he shall examine the disease. After the priest shall go into the house, and if the disease is a mold in the of the house, with green and brown spots, and it appears deep on the surface, and the priest shall go to the house and go in the house, which is not the house of the and the priest shall come down the same day and look. And if the disease is spread in the walls of the house, and the priest shall come in that they take out the service, which is the disease and throw into an unclean place outside the city, he shall have the inside of the house scraped over. And the plaster that they sweep for they shall put in an unclean place outside the city. And they shall take other stones and put them in the place of those stones. And he shall take out the plaster and bless the house. And the disease breaks out again in the house. After he has taken out the stones, screw the house and bless them. And the priest shall burn them. And if the disease is spread in the house, if there is disease in the house, it is unclean. And he shall break down the house. His stones and timber and all the plaster of the house. And then he shall carry them out of the city to an unclean place. Whoever, whoever enters the house will be in shall be unclean to leave. And whoever sleeps in the house will shall wash his clothes. And whoever eats in the house shall wash his clothes. And if the priest comes and then looks in the disease and not spare in the house of the house of Boston, and the priest shall pronounce the house clean, when the disease is healed, and before the cleansing of the house he shall take two small birds with set away and sky on his head. shall kill one of the birds in the earth and wear that so fresh one. He shall take the set away with his head in the colony along with the light bird and do it in the blood of the bird that was killed in the fresh water as well as the house sometimes. He shall also shall cleanse the house of the blood and put the bird, the bird and the fresh one and then with the light bird and the set away. And his husband Scott Yard shall let the life of God out into the river country. So he shall make so he shall make a table for the house. Shall be clean. This is the law for any case of leprous disease. For any case of leprous disease in God or in the house. And we're selling the river of the soil. The show when it's unclean and when it's clean. This is the law for leprous disease. The most great man is unclean. So he sees two people who is unsafe. When he gets in the discharge from the blood, his discharge is unclean. And this is the law for his unclean discharge. discharge. And this body runs with his discharge, or his body is blocked. And his discharge is unclean. This Every bear with which the body with the discharge lies shall be unclean. Everything on which he sits shall be unclean. And anyone who touches his bed shall wash the clean and make himself unclean, and be unclean until the end. Whoever sits on anything on which the body with the discharge so I has sat and shall wash the clean and be himself unclean, and be unclean until the end. And whoever touches the body at one with the discharge shall wash the clean and be himself unclean, and be unclean until the end. And if the one with the discharge sits on someone who, who is clean, then he shall wash the clean and be himself unclean, and be unclean until the end. Until the evening. And any sound which the one with the discharge of shall be unclean. And if the worm touches anything that was under him, shall be unclean until the evening. And the worm carries such things, shall be much as quite as being made himself unclean. And be unclean until the evening. And if the worm with the discharge touches the hell, he raises the sea shades. And the worm shall be much as quite as being made himself unclean. And be unclean until the evening. And the other way of vessel that the one with the discharge touches shall be broken. And every vessel which shall be rinsed up with. The one with the discharge comes with his discharge. He shall come for himself seven days for his cleansing. And the worth of he shall bathe the body in fresh water and shall be clean. For the next day, he shall take two tartars or two pigeons and come before the Lord to enter the temple and give them to the priest. And the priest shall use them for a first offering and the other, other for a burnt offering. And the priest shall make a tender before the Lord for his discharge. And if any of them is in the scene, he shall bathe the whole body in water and be unclean to the evening. And every garment and every skin which the seed in common shall be washed with water. And be unclean to the evening. If man lies with a woman has an ambition to see, if she shall be in the source of water and be unclean to the evening. When a woman has discharged the discharge in the body is blood, then she shall be in a menstrual purity for seven days. And no other touch shall be unclean to the evening. Everything on which she lies during her menstrual impurity shall be unclean. Everything else on which she sits shall be unclean. When a woman touches her bed shall wash the clothes and bed herself in blood and be unclean to the evening. When a woman touches anything on which she sits, shall wash the clothes and bed herself in blood and be unclean until the evening. Whether this is the bed or anything on which she sits, he touches it, he shall be unclean until the evening. And any man who lies with her and mention of purity or upon his body shall be unclean seven days. And in every man on which he lies shall be unclean. If one has a discharge of blood from eight days, not the time of mention of purity, or if she is the discharge beyond the time of her impurity, for all days of the discharge she shall continue unclean. As in the days of her impurity she shall be unclean. Every bed on which she lies, and all the days of the discharge shall be turned as a bed of impurity. 
everything that she said shove it away. There's another thing, yes. Of a mystery and purity. Whoever touches any of these things shall be ugly. You know, and she shall wash his clothes and bathe himself in water and can and be unclean until evening. If she is cleansed at this time, she shall come for as over seven days. And after that, she shall be clean. But the eighty, she shall take two tablets, two pigs, and bring them to the priest to the end of the ten meter. And the priest shall use one for a sin and the other for a burn off. And the priest shall make an atonement for her, but will for unclean discharge. And she shall keep the people that are separate from the uncleanness. And as they die in their uncleanness, by defiling the tabernacle. And as they live in the this is the law for him that is destroyed for him, for him that is in mission. For the sin of the become an unclean devil. And this is the law for him that is not. And if that is a mission of purity, and that is any one for any one male or female. Because it is destroyed for the man who lies with the woman who is unclean. Proverbs 28. And the wicked flee with no species, but the right to the the line. And the land shall go to the many laws, but the man of the understanding and knowledge and civil do long continue. Poor men who oppress the poor is being made at least nothing. Those who forsake the law praise the wicked. Those who keep the law strive against them. No evil men do on sign just, but those who seek the law understand completely. As to poor men who walk in integrity, they are rich and filled with confidence. But one who keeps the law is a son of the understanding of the companion of God's chains as well. No one who has the law for ancient, but for example, is it for him who is just to the One turns away his ear from hearing the law. He is proud of an abomination. This leads right, right into an evil way of falling to his own pit. A lamb shall have his goodly inheritance. A rich man is wise in his own eyes, but a poor man is unstable and fine. For the righteous tramp is quite good. One who will kill life, he behind his own way, which conditions conceals his transgressions will not prosper. But he confesses them for six and will turn mercy. That's the one who fears the Lord always. Uh, always. Uh, whoever hides his heart will fall fall into calamity like a wrong man in a charging man. He's a wicked will aware of a poor man. All the time lacks understanding. It's a cool person, but he hates unjust game and prolonged mistakes. If one is ready with the blood of another, he will be a fugitive to until death. Let no one help it, nor whoever walks in integrity will be used to them. He has broken his grace, or something for him. Whoever walks in the middle of the plane, but he falls well in the presence of the body of poverty. If he falls in the middle of the plane, he will be a fugitive to him until death. Let no one help it, nor whoever walks in integrity will be used to them. He has broken his grace, or something for him. Whoever walks in the middle of the plane, but he falls well in the presence of the body of poverty. Nor will be some animal after a final fit when he applies with his tongue. But Robert, his father is one and says that's no shame's grace. His companion to a man who destroys. The greedy man says that, but the one who trusts in the law will be enriched. The one who trusts his own man is a fool, he walks with the sun and he will live. No gifts to fall not well, but he hides his sight and get near cast. Then the wicked ones who bother themselves, when they perish, the righteous increase. Psalm 124. If he had not been the Lord who was on our side, let it not say, if he had not been the Lord who was on our side, when he would rise up against us, and they would swallow himself alive, and the anger was going against us, and the fire would have had to sway, the torrent would have gone over us, and the would have gone the raging waters. Blessed be the Lord who had not given us his prey to the teeth, and he would escape like a bird from the snare, the fowls of the snares broken, we have escaped. Welcome to the name of the Lord, he made heaven and earth. Now this done, I shall now do the Lord's prayer. Please pray to the Father in heaven. How I do it then? You can and come, you'll be done on earth as it is in heaven. Just today I do it, but you also have issues, sets of getting on top of He's willing to temptation to the rest of the evil life. Who else is the king and the power of the glory of the army? See you tomorrow. Bye.